Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm starting to vlog off on a boat. <laughs> We're at Regent's Park and we've just been walking around, like we've got a boat and we're just pedaling. We're coming It's so peaceful. So nice. I mean the weather, I don't know what the weather is because all week when we're in the office, it's sunny. <laughs> and then we have to deal with this shit on the day we actually go out. But yeah, it's very nice and peaceful. I'm just enjoying this. This stupid boat is bothering me. Oh my god. Let's go. Go in and They keep going in the same direction. Okay, then go back. If I was a driver, I think I'd have road rage. Would you? Because I'm just like, what are they doing? Like, keep cutting in front of us and we're on the down boat. Yeah, it's not too cold. It's a bit windy. It's like 20 degrees, but it's still enjoyable. This is really nice. I still remember when you used to have your big one. You used to be so paranoid. <laughs> I hate vlogging it's with like a fat camera. Perfect. I've got the DJI one and it's quite like discreet so that when I'm walking around it's not as awkward. People are like, they're like, people just stare and like, yeah. oh, what, does she, what is she holding? But it's really small. Yeah, this one's really good. That's, I really like this building. I don't know what it is though. Quality so good. <laughs> See myself in the background. Huh? We're at Bankrone, guys, in what Gold, Golden Square. Yeah. Really nice here. And I'm trying to choose what I want. I'm kind of torn between this or this, but I think I might get the pork one. That looks really nice. And then Krishna's gonna get this one. It's good. The one they had last time was a lot better. So this is too beanie. Try it. Try mine. This is too beanie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The one I had last time was about. I want to taste a lot better. Do you want more? No, no, Sorry, it's very thankful. Mm-mm. Let's see the other side of it. That's so cute. Mango. Thank you. Anything else? Do you like coffee? Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Mm. That's good coffee ice cream. Oh. It's really hot though. It's really hot. Everyone posts that on social media. Yeah. It's the only reason I got it. Wait. The pasta at Bancoin was really nice. Like very flavorful. I couldn't finish it though. I thought they have like small portions, but it was pretty good. Yours was a bit small. I didn't really like that one. Yeah, she got yeah. a very bean one. Yeah. But I like the sauce in that one. I'm actually gonna make oxtail curry because we haven't had it in a while. We got an instant pot and it just makes it so much quicker. I did do a quick food shop. I always bring these to work because they're just so easy. They're filled with protein and they're yum actually, the Thai one especially. And I love these cinnamon and raisin bagels with peanut butter in the morning. For a bagel, there is 
five grams of protein. I don't know where the protein comes from, but there's protein in there. Sunpat, nothing beats smooth sunpat. I'm sorry, I don't even like those wholesome, whole foods peanut. Just get the damn good peanut. I needed carrots, scotch bonnet chilies, and just regular chilies for the oxtail, and obviously onions. And we were out of eggs, so. I wanted to show you guys this set that I got from Adenola. This was my first time buying from them, but I was going up the escalator at Waterloo Station and I saw this girl in the Adenola leggings and they looked so good. So I was like, okay, do you know what? I'm gonna try them out and I'm not disappointed. So I got a full jogger set and a legging set. I'm gonna show you the jog jogger set first. Isn't this so nice? Let me just put it down a little bit. I got them both in a medium, I think for autumn, and I wanted something like varsity kind of looking set that I can wear when I'm just running errands and stuff and it's nice guys it's really nice 10 out of 10 let me show you the uh, the legging set this is the legging set I got medium in both the top and the bottoms but I've just been walking around the flat like with them and they keep falling like I feel like they fit really well but I definitely need to take a size down so I'm going to get a small These are going to go right but I love the top, the top fits perfectly um, That's the thing when you're like buying online like you just don't even know what size you are so you have to get various ones And I've seen that brands, I get it but then I don't because when you're shopping online sometimes you need to get various sizes Because I saw ASOS like I've been charging people like 4 or 5 pounds if you return items or something along those lines which makes no sense because you need to buy it several sizes to know which one fits you isn't this whole set really nice and they're not see-through there's no camel toe guys these are so good here's a close up of the material it's very very comfy this is a bit much here yeah. oh my god oh my god but yeah we like these I, i'm so tempted to get out of the colors but with time I will. If you haven't tried the brand, I definitely recommend. Anyways, let's go make some food. So I've already started chopping onion, one onion, two carrots, and one chili. It's these ones right here. I need to do garlic. These are the two main seasonings you're gonna need. I've got the oxtail here. I'll put all the ingredients in. The description box you just have to be careful when you're like seasoning salt because this already has salt in it so i kind of go along when when whilst it's cooking if i need to add salt i'll add salt but this just bear in mind that this already has salt in it give this a little bit of massage and let it sit for a bit okay i put it on saute and you press it twice so that it goes on more which means it's on a higher heat which is good for uh, browning meat and then it goes on on, on automatically so this is where we're going to like brown the meat and cook all the veg before putting it on a high pressure cook which I hate by the way because I've been traumatized by a pressure cooker but you know the manual ones the old school ones that your mum probably has I literally got so scared by one once and then my sister got this instant pot and it is so much safer so much easier to use and yeah I definitely recommend it I do have to keep like the manual on hand and I like, read every single step again because I'm scared that I'll miss out or something just gonna put some olive oil Okay, I think I'm not happy with that. I just put a little bit of water, just carefully. Make sure you bring the heat down before doing that because you want to get all this burnt stuff out from the bottom and it, you'll see that the water breaks it down. But it's good for flavour. I would say like Two tablespoons would be perfect, but I don't have that much. Water. And I'm going to open this halfway. It's going to take 45 minutes to cook the oxtail um, under high pressure. Um, but halfway through, I do open it and add the carrots in, and then you can check if you need more water or not. But I think this should be enough. I think this is going to be more than enough water. So that's venting, that's sealed. It says in the instructions, be confident. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like. I'm going to put the carrots in. 
Okay, now I'm gonna put the beans. I'm gonna put these Canelli beans. This is what it looks like. I definitely could have put this water, but it's very tender, so. Guys, today's Sunday and did lunch. I'm eating this Itsu Thai Udon. I've literally just been cleaning. I need to clean the kitchen in the background. And also doing like a really big declutter of my wardrobe because there's just so many things that I don't even touch or wear. Like years ago and it's just taking up so much space. I feel like nothing fits me. It's either too big or too small. So I'm just doing a big purge. Like very creamy. Got ice cold icing because this morning I woke up and it was cold and now I'm hot. Anyways, I'm just gonna have my lunch. Like shut up, like can you not? Um I think it's like 7 p.m. now and it's starting to get dark outside. I just finished filming a bunch of videos, did my wardrobe decluttering. I can to show you guys some of my product empties. I rarely do these because I try so many products so it's hard for me to get an empty. Especially makeup. Like I try so much makeup. So if, if there is an makeup item in here you know it's good let's first start with like the hair bits um this revlon unique one all-in-one hair treatment is really really good guys and i wear this it makes your hair smell like you've just come out of the hair salon it smells so good and it has so many benefits like literally they're all listed on the back here but the main one for me was like the shine and the heat protection especially definitely would repurchase this i'm actually i've actually moved on to my bumble and bumble heat protection because i wanted to finish that one but i would definitely repurchase this the living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo i think this is my second bottle that i finished i am someone that definitely needs dry shampoo and this one just does it for me it smells really fresh as well and it does the job it doesn't like irritate my scalp doesn't give me dandruff or anything so yeah really like it the l'oreal glycolic gloss this is kind of like a five minute treatment you put in the shower you wash it off and your hair just comes out super shiny but this is just really affordable so i can recommend this then on to skincare i recently finished a cerave hydrating cream to foam cleanser i love my neutrogena hydro boost one but i wanted to change it up a bit and um, i really did enjoy this one i like that it removes the makeup um a lot of the times i just go into the shower and wash my makeup off, off in there so i just want a foamy cleanser that just melts everything off and this did it for me it's affordable it's supposed to be really good for normal to dry skin which is what i have i have really dry skin and it didn't like strip my skin didn't irritate me didn't give me any blemishes so i would definitely repurchase this the vichy mineral 89 moisturizer i really like to apply this at night time it's just a really good hydrating moisturizer i did receive the rich one recently so i'm really excited to try that but th this is definitely one i would recommend to you guys I mean, I've raved about this so much. The Ordinary Alpha Arbutin. If you have hyperpigmentation or blemish scarring, you need this because I have been raving about this for years now. I did come off it, but recently I had a lot of like blemish scars on my cheeks. And as soon as I started using this, along with like dermal rolling once every two weeks, my skin has cleared up. It's just so much better. So yeah, I cannot live without this. I've already purchased the second one. The Vitamin C Daily UV Glow Fluid. This has very high SPF protection. This is my second tube. And a lot of the days I just wear this concealer, bronzer, powder, and I'm good to go. It has a bit of a tint to it, which I really like. And it's non ashy. Can't rave about this enough. The Dalba First Serum Spray is a really nice hydrating serum. I already purchased a second bottle of this, and I really like to apply this at night time. Okay, now onto the makeup items the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. A hydrating primer the hydrating one because obviously I have dry skin if you have more oily combination skin then you would probably prefer the you the normal one but I love this and to be honest I'm not too fussy about primers but when I have a special occasion I do want one and this just makes your makeup sit so nicely on your on your skin so need to get another one of this the Maybelline skin tint in the shade 45 I already have another one of this it's so good like it's affordable I've used this in so many of my videos and the shade match is really good for me too Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer in the shade caramel cutie this is so old now I need to get another one but this shade specifically if you're around my skin tone you need to get caramel cutie in this bronzer it's so good i need to get another one i've been using so many other products but i missed this so i need to get that the mac cosmetics squirting squirt pumping gloss sticks this one's in the shade amped i've already got another one in my bag i really like the formula of this and it has like this minty like scent to it and it doesn't dry my lips over time so 
really really do like these they're super comfortable and they do actually hydrate your lips and they have a little bit of a tint to it i have gone through so many tubes of these they're by ellie brow texture i don't know what i would do if they stopped doing this but it's so convenient it does a job and i can't do my eyebrows without this it's affordable as well and then finally the charlotte tilbury makeup setting spray i mean do i need to say more about this if you want a good setting spray go for this if you want more of an affordable one the beauty crop glow milk mist spray my leg hurts my leg is numb, I cannot move it. Anyways, um, yeah, this one's just really good, but any of the beauty crop setting sprays are really good too. And then I have some random bits here. This is the Well Guard um, Vitamin, uh, sorry, what is this? Vegan Apple Cider Gummies. These have so many health benefits, but I just really like taking them. And yeah, me and hubby got uh, take these and we're on our second tub. And then this is really random, but the body form all fluid protection pads. These are great. So well, like, you know, when your period is starting to come off and you don't want to wear like a whole pad, these are really good. You can barely feel them. They're very discreet, very little, they're comfortable and it just does the job. So yeah, I've already got another box of these. This is what it looks like. I was very productive this weekend, I'm not gonna lie. And I also filmed a review, which I'm testing out right now. May have put a bit too much blush, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna complain. Hi guys, so I thought before closing off the vlog, I'll do a quick coding haul because I have bought a few bits. It's starting to get cold, like today's so... F guys, look. I've got socks on. And they're not even the same pair. <laughs> so cold. Put the heating on and then sky was going up in to the heater like she was sticking her nose on it i was like girl aren't you burning your face right now Do -do. oh i need to give her a bath so yeah it's so cold so i literally bought some coats nothing fits me like last year by the way trigger warning we're gonna talk about weight i know not everyone wants to hear about it so i'm just telling you right now so i skipped through these next like next minute but last year I was struggling because I put on so much weight, nothing fit me, like nothing in my wardrobe would fit me. So then I bought clothes and I was just hiding myself in baggy clothes. Like there's this jumper that I bought last year and I was where I would wear it to work and it today is like a pajama on me. I was just hiding myself, I just didn't feel confident at all. I didn't feel myself, I didn't feel strong anymore. And all this happened because of COVID and I think a lot of people went through it. And to be, to be honest, today I've come to terms where my body weight just fluctuates. So I'm not trying to put myself on a strict diet or anything, I'm just trying to build a really healthy relationship with food. If I want to eat um, a chocolate or an ice cream, I'm going to eat it. And I've been losing weight like crazy because to be honest, I've been walking more, just been working out more. But just if I want junk food, it's all in moderation basically. And I've just been eating more whole foods, lots of protein. I try to have protein with every meal. But the thing that's that's like really taken a toll on me, uh, to be honest, is because I fluctuate so drastically in my weight. Like I've got like stretch marks everywhere on my body, on my arms especially. And I'm like, <sighs> and it's, it's genetics, you can't prevent it. Honestly, I've tried every product for stretch marks. I don't even think um, stretch mark laser, maybe I'll do it one day, but I think with laser, like if you put more weight on late in the future, it's just gonna come back. So like, what is the point of paying thousands and thousands of pounds just to get it removed when it can come back up? Just, it's just the way my skin is. I mean, I have it all over my butt. I have it on my thighs. I have it behind my legs. I have it behind my arms. It's just everywhere at this point. <laughs> Anyways, a bit off topic. So basically, now that I've lost weight, nothing fits me. Everything's big. I was wearing all my work trousers, everything's falling. Like it was really frustrating because this past week I've been wearing trousers and they just kept falling and falling. So I bought some new workwear. I bought a lot of jumpers that fit me better. And to be honest, naked, they do not disappoint. Every time I wear something from naked, I get a compliment on it. And I've noticed the quality is so much better, so much more longer lasting, so much prettier. I got a coat. I feel like I should change my outfit, but I cannot be bothered. So I got this, I mean, simple, simple. And this isn't a size 40. And I think size 40 is like 10, 12. It's very heavy. I mean, let's just pretend this is a jumper. I could have sized smaller actually, but I like the oversized fit of it. And plus, if I'm gonna wear jumpers on it, I want it a little bit bigger anyways but i think this is nice what do you guys think coat the sleeves are nice and big pockets and honestly it feels very nice i'm quite happy with this and i'm happy with the sizing i really like this it's very thick very um 
high quality and it's definitely more on the oversized home but I could have sized smaller but I'm happy with it, I can't bother to return it. This is my well loved Bershka one, I just wanted to show you guys just for comparison. This one's a bit longer and definitely much, this is a heavy coat, I'm not gonna lie, but the naked one is heavier. And that's what I mean with the quality, it just feels so much better. So I thought this, nothing could beat the heaviness of this one. But this one is very oversized and it's been well loved. I actually really like this kind of detail here, but it's like, it's like I need to do the lint roller shaver. I need to fix the pocket because there's a massive hole there which is so annoying because then my phone would fall all the way to the end she's been well loved and she is a beautiful coat and i'm going to keep her but that one looks very luxe very nice so there's that and then from naked i also needed a belt this one is black but it has silver hardware so i got one with gold because i think i'm more of a gold girl to be honest i think this one is going to be perfect because it's not like even my belts are too they're too big my belts are too big for me okay this one's perfect it's a look okay i definitely could have dressed better for this but it is what it is i'm happy with that some leggings from adenola i remember i showed you guys earlier in the vlog the leggings were too big they kept falling so i've got size small so let's give them a go i think size small definitely fits me better is that a camel toe let's not be camel toe i think out of all the leggings i've tried these are really good in terms of camel toe but the leggings look like and i really like them just even for like every day are they squat wizards? These are the back ones. And a super comfy. I've got a new trench because some days here, like, I just don't know what's wrong with the weather. I did have one, like, I bought two years ago, I think I bought a trench from Zara. And it looked so nice when you first buy it. And then I started wearing it a lot. And then it started getting all like, it gets really like uh, creased. So this one is much thicker which I like. To be honest, I, I literally just bought some trench coats from Naked to see if I like those ones better, but so I wasn't sure about this one. It's very um, sophisticated. Do you crease? Like, is this a thing? Like, is this normal? I, I do not like the look of this creasiness. Okay, this creasiness is just not a look. Maybe I have to iron it. But this is looks like i'm definitely not going to try the m because this is already big okay that is everything that i got you guys see the color better here like it's actually really nice but let me know in the comments should i keep this or not maybe i'll wait for the naked ones and then i'll check in with you guys once that comes because naked or just take ages to come anyways and i'm boiling i'm boiling right now i'm gonna go now i'm gonna close off the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it was a little bit all over the place i'm not gonna lie because the last time i vlogged was a few days ago so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye